Hello there, welcome to Yoga with Anya and welcome to this series, Yoga During Pregnancy. I am personally currently pregnant at 21 weeks and I promised I always let you know about the weeks so you have a rough idea maybe on where you are standing with your practice as well during your own pregnancy. And really important one I want to mention, and I know I did with every video, but is that you're really listening and tuning into your own body and to baby and only do what feels good. We all have such different bodies, such different pregnancies. I just hope you're all well and healthy and look forward to guide you through this nice and soothing evening practice. Welcome. <music> So we begin in a comfortable seated posture. If you do have any pillows or bolsters at home, and I really think if you do a regular pregnancy yoga practice, then get some of these bolsters or pillows so you can be more and more comfortable. And also your position can be as, as good as possible for your own body. So if you would like to, you can place your sit bones down onto your pillow or a bolster underneath you. And then for today, as we are practicing in the evening, allow your palms to settle down as a gesture of grounding and sending the awareness inward. And then gently roll your shoulders up toward your ears and allow them to drop back and down. We take two more of these, so you're inhaling, reach the shoulders forward, up and down your back. Inhale, take the shoulders all the way up and maybe drop some weight off those shoulders or anything you're carrying with you that doesn't need to be there any longer. So shoulders are soft, you're creating more space between ears and tops of your shoulders. And then once you're ready, gently close your eyes. And allow yourself to really arrive here on your mat. Allow yourself to let go of the day thus far, maybe a week or your weekend. And forget about any to-do lists. And at the moment this could be quite a long list because you feel or you might feel that you need to get ready for a baby, do all these things before birth or you have ideas of how to change things around in your own home. Really let go of any of that because right now you're here to practice and it really is important to carve that time out to be present with your baby as well so as you close your eyes imagine your awareness moves from the outer world to the inner world and as you sit here start to lengthen and elongate your spine Allow the crown of your head to reach up towards the ceiling. And just find a gentle lift through the heart. So shoulders roll back, chest and heart are opening. Sits bones are heavy and your hands are soft on your legs. And just take a moment to notice how you're feeling today. Maybe you notice at this very moment how baby is feeling or how it felt during the day. Was it quite active? Was it rather calm? And imagine as you soften and relax your body into this practice, the baby does notice that and thus so too. Allow your jaw to relax, your forehead to soften, so all these thinking muscles, give them a break now. And then bring your awareness to your breathing. And as you inhale and exhale, notice that rising and falling sensation of your body. 
it's a nice calm breath or maybe you notice from your day your heart rate is a bit faster and now we try to slow it down therefore so let's start to breathe a little bit deeper take a nice long breath in breathe all the way down into the belly exhale release through the nostrils very nice and to really connect to our breath I would now like you to bring your left hand onto your heart space and your right palm onto your bump anywhere that feels comfortable where you might feel baby and you can connect and now for five cleansing breaths breaths and <laughs> take a nice deep breath in through the nostrils feel your right palm rising and then gently open your mouth and release four more inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth so really imagine you're inhaling you draw positive energy into your body exhale to soften to let go two more inhale and exhale very 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 nice once more inhale deep breath in and exhale nice long breath out very nice and so now bring both hands onto your bump connecting to baby and now let's take a few rounds with a very slow breathing pattern so inhale for one two three exhale for one two three release breathe in for one two three exhale for one two three soften inhale new energy exhale let go breathe in for three two one hold the breath for a moment and exhale for three two one release take two more of these rounds count your breath very nice after your last round just find into a nice comfortable and deep rhythm of breath and then you can gently blink open your eyes and as it's an evening practice feel free at any point where it feels nice to reclose or soften your eyes but from here we're now going to connect movement and breath so inhale softly stretch your arms up and overhead breathe in send your gaze to your thumbs if that's okay for the neck and exhale hands through heart center so again inhale imagine you're collecting energy you're collecting some positivity and then you draw that into your body and all the way down towards baby once more inhale find length stretch into your fingertips exhale hands through heart center now keep your hands at your heart for a moment and really start to tuck your chin down towards the chest keep elongating through the spine and hopefully you start to feel a nice stretch at the back of your neck the back of your head and press your hands towards one another not tensing up but just feeling the connection feeling the shoulder blades squeezing in at the back maybe setting an intention for yourself or something you want to reflect on at the end of your day beautiful work and now interlock your fingers and start to push your hands forward and up inhale gaze comes forward keep your head neutral so chin over the chest and then start to have a little bit of a wiggle here so press through one hand and then the other and really enjoy this movement here enjoy feeling your body feeling how it has changed over the last few weeks you don't have to compare it to your previous practices just take it as it is today 
and then come to pause for a moment and really make sure your shoulders stay down and away from the ears. Start to draw your pinky fingers as far back as feels good and feel the sensation in your upper arms. Two more breaths. Once more, inhale to lengthen and exhale, open your arms and release everything down towards the earth. Now come onto your fingertips or if you feel the floor is a bit too far away, then you can stretch your hands off the mat and just extend into your fingertips. So whichever version you're choosing, now soften the left ear towards the left shoulder. Stay more active now in your right hand. So imagine stretching the right arm away from the body to increase this sensation along the neck. Head is heavy, neck is relaxed. And then inhale, bring the head back to center and exhale, right ear to the right shoulder. Now this time, become more active in your left arm. Reach into those fingertips. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then lift your head back to center. And with this activity through your hands, bring your arms parallel to the floor and then just flex your fingers toward your forearms. Imagine pushing the heel of your hands into an imaginary wall behind you. And for some of you, you might feel that in your, the whole arms or in your wrists. Very nice. And then from here, take your hands forward. Still keep your hands flexed fingertips towards you and then start to rotate your wrist and depending on your work if you are still working maybe on the computer or some manual work this can feel nice as well here to just bring movement back into the hands change the direction very very good and then shake your hands out give your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle very good, and now we're gonna move into tabletop. So move any bolsters or any props you had underneath your hips and find your way into tabletop. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and really try to ground towards the earth. So with all 10 fingers and your big toes, press the mat away. But as you do so, as you send some muscular energy into the body, keep the belly soft. So we really don't want to activate the core. And then for a few rounds of cat and cow, start to soften the belly down, lift your heart forward, inhale. And exhale for the opposite movement, tuck your tailbone under and lift your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Four more rounds and while you're moving, connect to your breath. Maybe re-close your eyes, feel the movement through the spine, the different areas of your back. And really don't worry how much you're going into one or the other, as in arching or rounding the back here. Just listening to the body, listening to what feels good for the baby. Very nice, let's take one more round. Inhale to arch the spine and exhale to round, round, round. Beautiful work. And then come back into a neutral spine. And if you can, so have a look if that's okay for your palms, turn your hands around. Spread your pinky finger away from your thumb. Gently curl your toes under and then start to rock forwards and back a few times. And you might wanna bring your knees wider so your belly has space to soften down. And again here, just tuning into what feels good. Once more, inhale, rocking forwards. Exhale, rocking back. And then come all the way onto your heels. So the toes are curled under. Take your pinky toes out so all of them are spreading across the mat. And then gently allow your palms to rest down onto your legs with your hands facing up. And just allow your hips to feel heavy. Feeling the stretch through the feet. 
Maybe strengthening the ankles a little bit here. And a moment of appreciation towards your feet that carry you and now the baby as well around all day long. Feel your body lengthening, breath deepening. Beautiful work. And then for a soft downward facing dog, start to shift your body forward. Take your hands quite a bit further forward, fingers are spreading wide. Feet are more than hip width apart and then start to lift your hips back and up. And if you feel you're getting dizzy here, maybe you're just choosing to come back into tabletop. If downward facing dog feels good, then bend your knees, lift your hips higher and start to walk your legs out here. So really focus on bringing some of that stretch into the back of your legs. few more breath cycles. You can also sway the hips side to side. You can be really creative here, finding any movement that allows your body to stretch, to lengthen, and also to actually bring energy into the whole body, depending on what you've done during your day. Reconnecting. Very, very good. And then soften your knees back down towards the mat. Bring your knees mat width apart, big toes together. And for Balasana Child's Pose, at the moment I really like to make fists. So I'm a little bit higher, but you can have your arms long and then soften the forehead down towards the ground. So either forehead on the fists or arms in extension. Close your eyes and reconnect to your deep belly breath. And imagine with every in breath, you're sending the breath now into your back, roughly the middle of your back where your lungs are sitting. 60% of your lung tissues are actually at the back. Feel the skin of your back stretching on the in breath back and shoulders, forehead softening on the out breath. Beautiful work, very, very nice and then slowly start to lift back and up. And from here we're going to move into Malasana, our yogi squat. And you can just sink your hips down towards the mat, but you can also have any props underneath your hips to just make it again a bit more comfortable for where you're at in your body today. Bring your elbows to the inside of your legs and then connect your hands in prayer and draw your thumbs towards the heart center. And visualize that you're hugging your knees in towards one another and at the same time with your forearms or rather upper arms try to gently press them open so you're creating a little bit of resistance and just allow your belly to be soft you're slightly tilting forward pelvis is rotating forward and then again reach up through the spine here eyes can be open or closed we're going to take a good few rounds of breaths here. Imagine breathing all the way down into your hips. Continue softening the shoulders and the out breath. Jaw stay soft. Very, very nice. And then either with your eyes open or closed, extend your left arm down, keep the right knee open and bring your right arm back behind you. Find length through the arms, maybe send your gaze up towards these fingertips. And then changing the side, bring your right hand down, left arm up and overhead. Inhale here and exhale to release. Now come down into a seated posture. You can stay seated on a block or take it away here. 
And then make sure you sit comfortably on both seats bones and ground your hands down onto your knees. And then start to make small circles with your upper body. But imagine you're initiating the movement from your hips. So you're rolling over one hip and then the other. You're rotating through the spine, bringing some movement into the shoulders. Beautiful work. Let's take one more round here. And then change the direction of your circles. Again, you might want to start a little bit smaller. And then getting into bigger circles. Feel your shoulders rotating, the movement you're creating in the spine, that massage for your hips. Beautiful work, one more round. And then come back to center. Drop your left hand down onto the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm up and overhead. Nice long stretch through the arm. Come over to the other side, right hand down, left arm up and overhead. And let's do that a few more times with the breath. And especially as at the moment we are sleeping on our left hand side, you might feel that one side feels quite a bit more tight than the other or in general, it's just good to balance the body out again here. Moving with the breath. Very nice, last round. Inhale through center, exhale, side body stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then bring your hands again back towards the knees. Now this time extend your legs away from one another, come into a wide-legged seat. You can have knees bent or legs straight depending on how upright you can sit. And again imagine you're tilting slightly further forward, so bump is softening already to the front. And then bring your hands back onto your legs and create a few circles here. And especially as it's an evening practice and no matter when you're practicing, actually, it is not about how much you're doing. It's with how much awareness and I would say how well you're breathing. So start to soften into these circles. Keep your toes flexed towards you. Change the direction. Very nice, and then as you settle back to center, come onto the fingertips. And our last posture today is a forward fold. So crawl your hands forward, allow your forehead to soften, chin tucking down towards the chest. You can also come down onto the forearms or on a pillow. And send some love, some care into your back. You can now relax the feet fully. Closing down the eyes. Very, very nice. And then with the help of your hands, bring your body back into your upright seat. And then we're gonna finish in a cross-legged seated posture Connect your hands anywhere in the body that feels nice for you to seal off your practice. Maybe you can give your baby a hug here. Lengthen up through the spine. Close down the eyes. And just take a moment to be. A moment to notice what feelings are currently present with yourself. Maybe sensing how the baby is feeling and remember, if you soften and relax into the body, the baby will soften and relax too. 
And with this in mind, I wish you a wonderful good night. Take care of both of you. And from my heart to yours, much love. Namaste. Mm -hmm.